Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, we have a video here for you tonight that uh, has some exclusive information available to you about the launch sales worldwide of Switch OLED and yes, even Metroid Dread. Although I will note right now, the Metroid Dread ones are not necessarily 100% accurate, whereas the Switch OLED figures are essentially, yeah, that's exactly what was sold during launch. Uh, so yeah, Nintendo hasn't announced anything, so this news isn't coming from Nintendo uh, in an official manner. Although, um, here's what I'll say. My source on all this information is Paul Gale Network. He is a friend of the channel. He's been on our podcast, uh, and he's actually a massive industry veteran with his own connections, including one um, directly with the company in question. So. It is what it is. We're gonna go over some of the sales data and I will link to where you can follow Paul Gale down below. He's got a YouTube channel as well as a Twitter account you guys can follow. Uh, but before we get into that, I wanna remind you, we are giving away a few copies of Metroid Dread. Just click on that link down in the description or the pinned comment with a viral sweep link. Also, we have a much grander giveaway happening over the holiday period that I'm waiting to reveal details on later. Uh, and we will, uh, it, it's just gonna be a, a, a big event. And, I know there's going to be that one commenter, Nate, giveaway, 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 giveaway. You know, you can just skip the intro, right? We have chapters. All right, folks. So uh, let's just get straight into this information. Um, I'm going to be reading um, some, some private DMs that were happening between me and Paul Gale Network uh, because he informed me that he had some data and I wanted to make sure that uh, not, not that he was trustworthy, but I had a, a hunch on where the data came from and I wanted to ensure. So I'm not going to talk about his source directly here. Um, so uh, the Nintendo Switch OLED sold exactly how many were shipped. So we talked about this before that it felt like Switch OLED sold out worldwide. And according to Paul Gale Network, it did sell out entirely. So. Here's the details on how many units Nintendo shipped out. Uh, so for Switch OLED, Nintendo switched out over 600,000 units. And that's not just shipped, that's also sold. So we know 600K, maybe 650K or so uh, were sold for Switch OLED during launch. So that is obviously really, really interesting data. And we'll get into why some people might be disappointed when you hear that number. Uh, more beyond that, Metroid Dread. So he has some launch figures for Metroid Dread, although not exact figures, uh, because his source said, hey, Metroid Dread sold over 500,000 units, but sold significantly over. Uh, so we don't know what that means. It could be 900,000, so almost a million. It could be 700, 800. So all we know is it's north of 500, probably coming close to a million, if I had to guess. Uh, and that's worldwide sales for launch. It has nothing to do with what's happened since launch. So uh, what does this mean? Well, we know the Switch Lite sales came out uh, and Switch Lite in the first 10 days on the market sold 2 million units. So when you hear 600,000 Switch OLED sold, that doesn't sound like very much. Uh, also, when you consider that we were hoping that Switch OLED was going to be like a Switch Pro, I think we can kind of see why Nintendo went the direction they did. We all know there's been manufacturing issues for really quite some time over a year two years almost now you know with all of these tech companies trying to get enough supply of their products out to customers and the thing is 600,000 units is not actually a lot to have ready to go at launch of a new product but since this is a non-essential upgrade product you could still buy the switch Lite. you can still buy the original switch all the games play the same same frame rate, all that jazz. It's a non-essential device. Nintendo probably felt like they didn't need as many devices ready to go at launch. I assume they would have liked to have a couple million ready to go, uh, but they didn't and they still put it out there because they probably didn't feel it was essential that it had that. So I don't know, this is just my food for thought on this whole process here. Uh, Switch all it sold out. So. I don't know what the upper level limits of sales would be for Switch OLED because there was obviously limited supply. Now, getting to Metroid, obviously Metroid launching at almost a million units or close to it would be rather big news for Metroid that traditionally only sells 1.5 to 2 
a little bit over 2 million units. So we'll have to see what happens. Obviously, we're all hoping it hits at least 3 million. So RGT85 has to do a full playthrough of Ball in Wonderland. But even beyond all that, we really just want to see Metroid do well. That way, uh, we get more games in the future. So I don't know. This is just some data I have for you guys. We're not going to throw any other stories in with this today because this is just exclusive information coming to you from Nintendo Prime. And when I'm privy to some of this information, I want to make sure it gets credited properly and I give it out to you guys. This is really someone I, I, I truly trust. He's been at every single E3 that's pretty much ever existed. And if you guys know, E3 used to be media only. I'm not going to go into his full background of all his credentials, but Paul Gill Network's legit, and he'll probably be on a future podcast episode again someday in the future. So you can probably look forward to that. He's, he's a good guy um, and uh, always encouraging me to get healthier. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. He is a, um, a workout fiend, a, a bit of a karate master himself. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I am the Thunder Rubble Jants from Nintendo Prime. Woo! Pretty rare that we get like a nice exclusive like this. So enjoy the news, everyone.